island of Sodor is surrounded by beautiful blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches. There are rivers, streams and lots of trees where the birds sing. There are windmills and a coal mine and docks where visitors to the island arrive. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the island of Sodor. It was a beautiful morning on the island of Sodor. And it was Lady Hat's birthday. She was having a special party. There were cakes and balloons and even a merry-go-round. But the most exciting of all was the brass band. It was coming from the mainland to play at the party. The fat controller came to Tidmouth Sheds. Thomas, you are to collect the brass band. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. James and Gordon were upset. They wanted to collect the brass band themselves. Thomas puffed happily across the island. And into Napford Station. The brass band climbed aboard Thomas and he raced away. But Thomas was so excited, he pulled away too soon. The tuba player was left behind. Thomas steamed off to Maithwaite Station. And the brass band assembled on the platform. Suddenly, the band leader cried out. Where is the tuba player? He wailed. We cannot play without him. No one knew where the tuba player was. I'm sorry, sir, gasped Thomas. I must have left him behind. Thomas raced back to Knapford Station. But the tuba player wasn't at Knapford Station. He was waiting for Bertie the bus. Bertie pulled up beside the tuba player. Can you take me to the party? He asked. I'll take you as far as I can, said Bertie. Thomas arrived at Knapford Station and couldn't see the tuba player anywhere. The tuba player is lost, moaned Thomas. And it's all my fault. Thomas raced from station to station. Must find him, must find him, he puffed. Where could he be? Bertie had dropped the tuba player off. Bye-bye, he called cheerfully. Thank you, said the tuba player, and he waited for another ride. He didn't have to wait long. Elizabeth, the vintage lorry, pulled up. I can take you as far as the flour mill, she boomed. Thank you, said the tuba player. He climbed on to Elizabeth's wagon, and he practiced his tuba as they chuffed down the lane. Thomas puffed faster and faster. Where was the tuba player? Thomas flew right across the level crossing. He didn't see Elizabeth waiting there, or the tuba player on her flatbed. And he didn't hear the tuba playing. Where could the tuba player be? Thomas moaned. Elizabeth took the tuba player all the way to the mill. There you are, young man, she puffed. Trevor will take you from here. The tuba player thanked Elizabeth and climbed aboard Trevor. 
Trevor chugged slowly down the lane. Thomas kept on looking, but the island was very big, and the tuba player was very small. Thomas looked behind trucks. into the yard. Percy was coming the other way. Thomas bumped straight into Percy and the bunting flew up in the air. Percy's trucks came off the track and so did Thomas. You've spilled my bunting, moaned Percy. I'll never find a tuba player now, groaned Thomas. Harvey arrived to clear the track for Thomas. Hmm, how did you get into this mess? He boomed. I was looking for the tuba player, moaned Thomas. Hmm, look and listen, Harvey said thoughtfully. If he's a tuba player, he might be playing the tuba. So Thomas took his time, and he listened very carefully. Then... He heard it, the sound of a tuba playing in the distance. Trevor was chugging down the lane. He was enjoying the tuba player's music. Thomas pulled up. He was pleased to see the tuba player. I've been looking for you everywhere, he puffed. With the tuba player safely on board, Thomas steamed off to Maithwaite as fast as he could. Thomas arrived at the party just in time. The band played beautifully. Lady Hart was very happy. It was the best birthday party ever. 